Tonight, tonight, I'll see my love tonight. Tonight, there will be no morning star. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our uh, timeless tarot night cap. Okay. So, uh, it's been another day. Another day is over. I hope that you feel fulfilled at the end of the day for those of you who feel drained okay uh, maybe it's time for you to <clears throat> throw your shoes away and just relax here sit for a short mo short moment with me and listen to a tarot reading okay now uh, <clears throat> today we will be reading for Aries okay Aries so Aries how was your day I uh, hope it was fulfilling for those of you who are a little bit uh okay de-energized <laughs> i hope you will be able to find the rest that you need tonight uh, having uh, someone to care for sometimes helps also a warm body by your side maybe also spending some time for those of you who have children spending some time with them tucking them to bed uh, accompanying them as they pray it would be nice no? children have a, a way of teaching us about life just by the example <clears throat> their examples okay now we have here for uh, the uh, main energy or the the lowermost card we have here temperance okay so establishing a certain balance in your life um, you see here the angel trying to uh, balance the water in the cup it's, it's as if it's mixing something no? it makes me think of alchemy okay it's the same uh, uh, with us also we try to mix certain th parts of our life so that they, to, it will have a good balance no uh, maybe for some of you right now you are trying to attain a certain balance in your life we're in uh everything seems to be just in the middle just moderate not too much in the extremes no uh, it's the best way towards uh, holiness or towards spiritual uh, growth uh, taking the middle road not going to the extremes when you are in the middle road <clears throat> you're also more accepting of people less judgmental of them people feel drawn to you because they know if you are in the middle road usually you are uh, more accepting of people's frailty <clears throat> because you also see your own frailty so uh, temperance teaches us to find a certain balance in our life uh, it's also a, a certain discipline you know, having a certain discipline in our life uh, 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 I guess this is where you are able to have a sort of what you may consider a way of life you know, able to have a certain routine that is beneficial for you in your present journey so you see here this person is able to be remain grounded but at the same time <clears throat> in uh, in touch with this inner world one feet is dipped into the water the other one is touching the ground okay uh, with the angel reminds us of the need to be constantly aware of the presence of the divine in our life now let us try to see what is your <clears throat> tarot reading for tonight okay ace of pentacles so you, for some of you you receive a new inspiration something that uh, will bring you prosperity maybe not only in the physical sense no but also uh, it can be gifts also from the universe that can make you grow also as a person so uh, prosperity in body mind heart and soul okay uh, and this gift that you have given allows you to have enough resources to share also to other people for some of you who had received certain insights about the spiritual journey uh, this experience has enriched you also that you are able to share it also with people who are also undergoing the same experience that you have so it can be in the spiritual sense or in the physical sense where you have enough resources to share also with the people around you so you are right now a cup that is overflowing now be careful <clears throat> sometimes with progress comes people who will try to also uh, ride with the waves okay so be careful of people who are uh, a little bit uh, 
um, self-serving and might like to take advantage uh, some people might there might be some people also who are jealous of uh, the blessings that you are receiving so be careful of these people they might be doing some fishy things behind you we have here the seven of swords no so as you become generous to others also be discerning make sure that nobody takes advantage of you okay have good boundaries at the same time uh as you remain generous also don't be too extravagant also uh, so temperance is important here no uh, <clears throat> you share with other people but at the same time also you you save some of your resources okay you see this uh four of pentacles it does not have to symbolize uh uh, being a miser no it's not that it's just that you enjoy the resources that you the gift that you are receiving from the universe at the same time share it also with other people but a small portion of it you save also for example if you earn 500 uh 500 dollars in a week maybe uh if you are not spending too much maybe save 100 dollars you put them into saving as if you expend it already if you keep on accumulating for example if you save only a hundred dollars every month uh, in a year's time you already have one thousand two hundred dollars in a year okay so you before you know it you are able to save some more so enjoy your life live life to the full share it with people share the gifts that you receive with the people around you but also do some savings also uh, it's good also to have some <clears throat> resources uh, that you are able to save so that anytime you need to buy something you don't feel strained to buy it you just decide what color do you want to get okay because there is a certain uh, security that you have it's good when you move around in the mall or, or you try to move around and you try to see what you need uh, you are not afraid to decide to buy something because you somehow know that you have some resources in reserve so uh, another uh, another invitation for you to be uh, to practice temperance enough to live a, a comfortable life enough to share with other people but at the same time enough also to feel secure because you are able to save some also okay now <clears throat> the moon see it's beautiful so we have here the moon the moon is that maybe the inspiration is there already but it's slowly unfolding and i think that makes life interesting I and mean, if you know already what will happen completely then there is no more excitement in it so it's good also that uh, the inspiration or the gift that you are receiving from the universe is a mystery that is slowly unfolding in your life and you are working on that inspiration right now and you are gathering attention of those who, of your higher ups or your bosses or your uh, superiors so uh, they are working with you because they also see the value that you are presenting so it seems that uh, you are you have also good uh, idea marketing skills okay and people are seeing the value of what you see uh, for those of you who can see it already but the others couldn't see you need to have the patience also to slowly present it to them so that they will see the value of it it's like making them realize that it's a win-win situation that they can benefit from it too so sometimes it takes also a little bit of marketing on your part so uh if people see why the reason why you are on fire on a certain idea then people will support you more now you need to be constantly we have here the page of cups who is constantly listening to the fish so you need to be constantly in touch with your inner world constantly in touch with god or the divine asking guidance from him so every night as you like tonight as you go to bed don't forget to say a little prayer and trust all all your challenges to the hands of the divine and uh, sometimes when you talk with the divine it's easier for us to sleep especially if you are carrying something that is a little heavy it's good to entrust everything to him uh, tell him Lord, we have a problem. Can you solve it for me? Okay, so something like that. Now, okay, somebody's rushing into your way. Somebody, for some of you, it can be a romantic partner. Somebody who is young, energetic, uh, impulsive a little bit, okay, but intelligent also. So this one is rushing into your way. 
I don't know if this is an old person, somebody you've known in the past, or somebody new. But whatever it is, uh, the relationship that you might have with this person promises further prosperity. It can be somebody who will help you in your inspiration right now, somebody who, you know how it is when you are with somebody, for example, if it would take you 30 minutes to make a proposal, when you are, sit down with this person, suddenly the 30 minutes become only 15 minutes. No? How, uh, there are some people we really work well with. And when you sit down, you are able to do many things, maybe two times more uh, when you are with this person. So somehow uh, it is somebody that might resonate with you. For some of you, it can be a soulmate. No? Now, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It can be also a friend or a colleague in, in your career whom you are able to work with. Whatever it is, this friend will help you attain uh, your success and your riches and your security much faster. And it will benefit not only you, but your loved ones also and the generations to come. Very nice reading, no? The Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So uh, finally, to close everything. Yes, okay, you will have the security of the King of Cups. This is a person who has already had the experience. So if you continue on working on this new inspiration, sooner or later you will have the experience. If you need to study so that you'll become an expert, study, okay? Sometimes uh, we need to have that humility, even if you are already a little bit advanced in years, to learn something new. It's good also for your brain cells. When you constantly learn something new, the chances of uh, losing your memory in the future is lesser because the brain is always active. You know? Just avoid uh, physical trauma. Okay, it's physical trauma to the brain. Well, that's another situation. But uh, you should have this. This uh, you should constantly learn. Even when you are already advanced in year, advanced in years, actually, it makes your life interesting when you are already advanced in years and you are learning some more. For example, when it comes to the social media, if you also have a, a YouTube channel, it will keep your mind active. And uh, here also, as you mature, you see the, the king is matured. Uh, he is prosperous. He has the certain confidence of experience already, but at the same time, he also has that confidence of having a deep inner life. Uh, the fish is very happy. When the fish is very happy, it symbolizes the universe who is happy because you are listening to the universe. You are interacting actively with the universe. So I feel that if you would just continue on this journey, the final destination will be f maturity in all aspects of your being, a holistic maturity. So this is what I can see for you, Aries, in our Timeless Tarot Nightcap. Okay, <clears throat> now, uh, Aries, we will try to end this reading with uh, some Oracle cards. Okay. Let's see. Healthy lifestyle. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, you are already evolving, and yeah, it's good to have a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> uh, it's part of being mature. You know, as your spirit evolves, your body also evolves. Your spirit starts to be a little bit more discerning with what they encounter, for example, in relationships, in situations. You now they, they choose situations that are, are benefiting the spirit also, and they also recharge themselves. They avoid situations that drain them of their energy. Even the body also tries to uh, choose already the food that they are eating, the beverages that they are taking. No? Uh, you will notice you don't have to exert effort. The body already knows what is good for them. And you just go with the flow and allow your body to tell you what is helpful and what is not. So it says here, Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet. Get adequate sleep. Okay. Um... As you undergo spiritual transformation, you will notice you will sleep earlier and wake up earlier. Uh, there is a cert there will be a certain change in your sleep habits, but you, you sooner or later you will adapt to it. Many of those who are undergoing spiritual transformation, they wake up earlier. I think it's because yeah, there's there is something about the time that I still also couldn't understand. But usually, uh, I guess this time is the time when the alpha state is more prominent so i guess it's because you try to when you are in the alpha state you are very much in touch with your inner 
self. So I guess somehow also you unconsciously know when is the best time for you to be in touch with your inner world. So maybe that's the reason also why we wake up. I still couldn't prove that, but somehow that is what I am trying to, uh, I somehow am trying to, uh, learning to understand. Uh, usually when we wake up early, like uh, now I also wake up very early, I, I also notice that um, yeah, when I wake up very early, I, I find myself a little bit more the intuition is a little bit higher at the early morning hours, no? Okay, um, <clears throat> so get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. Okay, so take good care of your health. Indigo and crystal children. Okay, there's something about tears. So the children can, uh, like we mentioned earlier, no? If uh, night time and weekends are the time for us to be in touch with the children. Okay, um, Archangel Metatron, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Okay, because you are already, uh, for those of you who are very intuitive, maybe you can help children. There are some children who are being, who are born that are already sensitive. Some of us develop our sensitivity at a later stage in life. Some of us, some are, we are already adults when we develop it, but there are some children who already develop this sensitivity even at a younger age. And somehow, uh, you who are already a little bit more experienced with this type, uh, your experience, you can help these children go through this stage a little bit faster. At the same time, they also help you because they are more open to intuition, more uh, less judgmental. They are they still have that... that uh, zest of the the fool or the the, the dreamer uh, they are not yet much uh, influenced by the society so they can teach you certain things also so it's a, a synchronistic uh, relationship where the children teach the you benefit from the children also as you help them also go through this very unique journey that they are encountering so for some of you i feel yeah some of you might be uh, inspired to uh, um, undergo certain work that might be related in helping children. So for some of you, for some of you, maybe uh, the thought of orphanages, no? Being a volunteer in some orphanages. I don't know if this resonates to anybody of you who is watching right now. It just came to me and I, I just shared it with you because maybe somebody among you is being called to help children in orphanages. Okay, so it just came. So this is our reading for today, Iris. I hope you were able to gain some message, messages that you need right now in your present journey. Maybe some answers to some of your questions, some clarifications to some doubts. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity also to thank everyone who like who put their likes in the channel and also who give me positive comments also. And uh, if you feel this will help other people, don't hesitate to share it with them. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to it yet, <clears throat> well, you might want to do so. <laughs> anyway, thank you. I look forward to seeing you again in our next videos. Until that time, God bless all of you.